So, I am curious. I am curious about what fruit is really doing to my blood sugar when I eat it. I know what normal carbs do. I've eaten bagels and taken my blood sugar. And the last time I did that, I, it scared the hell out of me. I didn't realize what my blood sugar was doing when I ate them. Typically, I eat a very clean ketogenic lifestyle to try to keep my diabetes under control. And so far, it's been working. Uh, every once in a while, I, I go crazy and I, I eat stuff like bagels and lox are like my favorite. And I pounded down two of them the other day, like a couple weeks ago, when I took my blood sugar. And it was crazy high. It was higher than it's ever been. It was like over 225. And so I worked out how many carbs I'd taken in and it was enormous. Mm -hmm. So what you're gonna see is me at the store putting it in perspective of how much fruit I would actually have to eat in order to get that many carbs. And I could have literally eaten two more bagels. I wasn't full at all. I could have pounded down two more bagels I, and I would have just kept going. So I think that I am going to do an experiment. I'm going to see what this, um, the equivalent amount of fruit does to my blood sugar. I know what it does to my blood sugar when it's car, when it's bagels and it's not good. It's scary. Um, but I think I need to do this. So don't try this at home. <laughs> like talk to your doctor. This is probably a little dangerous for me to do. So just don't do it. Okay. I have to eat all of these in one sitting to equal the carb count that I ate in that one bagel. <laughs> or to put it another way, I would have to eat five bananas to get the carb count of those two bagels that I ate. So I'd have to eat this entire bunch of bananas. A little perspective. This bag has 10 granny some apples. I would have to eat this whole bag plus three more in order to eat that exact same carb count. So I'm ready to do my experiment. I'm going to start by taking my blood sugar and it's going to be um, my baseline for that. So um, don't worry, I'm not going to show you the blood. <laughs> so this will just take a second. I'll show you what it looks like. probably backwards but my uh, fasting blood sugar is 95 and I've eaten breakfast and I've waited a couple of hours so it's totally normal 95 is great it's under 100 and so I'm going to try my experiment so I'm going to eat the equivalent of the bagels that I ate which is five bananas and I made it into nice cream but it didn't quite freeze all the way so it's a little bit more banana-y, but I think it'll be quicker to be able to eat it. So I'm gonna start eating it right now. And I'm gonna mark the time so that I know exactly what time it is that I started. And so I'll check my blood sugar two hours from now to see what effect these bananas are doing to my blood sugar. Bananas are pretty good. I haven't had a banana for a long time. Tomorrow's my birthday. I'm gonna repeat this experiment tomorrow, but I'm gonna have a durian. I'll be back in a minute. Eating five bananas at once is not easy. I'm probably two bananas in and I'm already getting full. Well, this is for science.
Boom. Science, bitches. Out of an hour. About halfway done. Oh. It's starting to taste like gasoline or something funky like that. Not like. It's gonna put me off bananas for a long time. I think this is my body telling my brain to stop. Don't eat any more bananas. We have plenty of nutrition. Okay. I'm almost done. Mmm. This is my body saying stop. I'm starting to get that gaggy feeling. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Okay, I did it. I did it. And that was probably about four minutes. Oh, I've never downed that many bananas before in my life. Okay. And I genuinely like bananas, so. Oof. Back in two hours. All right, it's two hours later and it is dark outside, so forgive the lighting. So now I'm gonna just gonna take my blood sugar and see what five bananas did to it. Gotta tell you, I'm kinda scared. That's a 200, two hours later. My blood sugar was 95. That's high. That's really high. I'm gonna go do a run. I gotta get rid of the sugar in my body. Experiment. Not a good one. Watch your sugars. So that's it for me. I'm not going to do this again. I said I was going to do a durian tomorrow and I'll probably still eat a little bit of durian because it's my birthday and that's my birthday present or my birthday cake. But um, no, I'm not going to do it again. I, I had thought about maybe doing three or four of them just depending on how this is going to go. But uh, my body is telling me not to. It's telling me that I shouldn't do this anymore. Um, and it's also telling me that uh, carb is a carb is a carb, especially at least in my body. Um, and that two bagels equals five bananas. And there's really absolutely no difference in how my body is processing it. Now, your body might be completely different. You might have um, a much better metabolism that can break down carbs much better. But as a type two diabetic, it's not gonna happen. Sugar is sugar is sugar. So, actually, I was not expecting this. I was expecting um, my body to be able to handle fruit sugar and with the fiber um, a lot better. So this is a really big surprise to me. Um, I don't think I've ever eaten five bananas in one sitting, and I can tell you that I was really full. Um, the other thing that I can say is that I could have probably eaten another two or three bagels if I was pressed. I mean, I wouldn't, but I think my stomach could handle it. Um, I definitely could not have eaten another banana and I probably won't eat any bananas for a while. So um, my 
experiment was a definite eye opener for me. Um, so if you're gonna eat your carbs, eat what you eat, what you want, because it doesn't really matter. Your body's, okay, I should say, my body um, processes it exactly the same. Um, my bag, the bagels might have been a little bit higher, um, but I didn't sit on my ass this time around. Um, I did do a little bit of house cleaning during the time that um, I was waiting for my results before I just ate the bagel and went to work and sat on my butt the entire time. So, yeah, I'm really surprised, honestly. I figured that the fiber would help the sugar not to cause my blood sugar to spike so high. But that's not the case, and I'm probably not going to eat bananas for a while, at least. Okay.